Oh, this is the thing. I mean, Corey, I get it. There's a certain section of people that are too far gone. I get it that the ring that needs to be kissed is, is, is too profound for some people. Perfect example. The ghost is now apparently part of Extinction Rebellion. This is what he wrote to, today on, uh, on Twitter. Can we whack this up here? Because seriously... Bottom line is, if we don't get there, the planet will be uninhabitable for billions of people. He's talking about all of the numbers that Albo was talking about. Now, what does it say about an absolute just removal from reality that a person who at one point ran this country, a person who, while he was running this country, was talking about how you can't blame individual fires or floods on climate change, is in the same lifetime, the same decade, now saying that if we don't go extinction rebellion, billions of people die. Uh, Paul, it just says uh, that Malcolm Turnbull, the ghost, is um, perhaps the greatest phony that we've seen in politics for a very long time. Uh, if you hey, don't hey. believe in anything, if you don't believe in anything, you will fall for everything. And you talked about, you know, the, the, the kissing the ring. Well, he's just been besotted by the ABC and mm. it made me think when you were talking about praising David Spears about how long it's before he's taken into the Ultimo re-education <laughs> basement uh, to say mate that's not how we play here. I hope his contract's ironclad mate. He'll be fine don't worry uh, but look it, it is just that thing I will put a clip up that editorial that we just did up on our website it'll be up on our Facebook page I want you to share this with friends all right I get it you're not going to be able to win over the basket weavers but to the supposed revolution that happened over summer because of bushfires and of smoke they need to know the types of things that are being planned for them and every sector of the country it is an extraordinary impact they are starting to talk about here and they want to pretend that somehow me pointing out the costs that he admitted to and ignored in an interview is climate denialism. No, it's calling out a phony who thinks you are stupid.